Anasi Aleluia, Anasi Aleluia, Jeová Meriwo, oh Meriwo, e você lhe me coe, Anasi Aleluia, Anasi Aleluia, Jeová Meriwo, e você lhe me coe, Aleluia, Anasi Aleluia. Ana si aleluia, Jeová meriô, meriô, e você lhe vive, Ana si aleluia, Ana si aleluia, Jeová meriô. Praise the Lord, God bless you all. Praise the Lord. I welcome you all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, Elohim, the mighty man about to the, the ancients of days, the King of the tribe of the Judah. I welcome you all with the love of Christ and I pray may the God Almighty give us the understanding of his word today in Jesus' name. Today I am here to share very very important thing with my sisters and my brother out there praise the lord praise the lord this message is for those who are still in the who are still uh, how will i put it is for those who are christian but they, are, they don't have the knowledge of god so they may not know that um they are, they, are, they think they are serving god in the right way but they are not serving God in the right way. I'm not here to judge you, but we are going to use the scripture. Praise the Lord. So he said, when he said on that last day, this word that you have heard will judge you. So that means if you hear the word on that last day and you refuse to obey it, the word will judge you on the last day. Praise the Lord. Because the word is God. Praise the Lord. The word is what Jesus. Hallelujah. God bless you all. I welcome you all once again in the name of Jesus. Uh, there is something that I really studied today and I get a very strong message from it. And uh, I want to share it with you all. This is for the bedroom. Like, uh, I can say because there is different type of Christian that we have now. We, we have different type of Christian now. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we invite you in our midst this hour, oh Lord. Father, King of King, Lord of Lord, I am that I am ancient of days. I thank you for this hour. I thank you for those minutes. I thank you for all that you have done in our life today, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, as men that is going to receive this word today, let them be blessed and admit their mistake and repent and turn to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, as I was saying, we 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 talk about we are going to talk about the the believers and the and the preacher you know and the preacher any of us sisters or brothers you are out there doing evangelism like winning souls to God it is a great thing like you are a pastor you are a prophetess you are a prophet you are winning souls to God like the thing is that how are you winning your souls to god in which way we have different type of christian this message that i'm giving every one of us all over the world please listen to it i'm going to say it gradually gradually like we are going to read the scripture together today so I want us to learn together. I want us to learn. So as you are joining me, seek for the Spirit of God should teach you like the way I seek for it right now to, to not allow us to speak in our own understanding, but in his own understanding. Amen. And so that every one of us will get this scripture right in the right way. Praise the Lord. So today we are I'm going to talk about the believers and the, the preacher so i know this word that i'm going to share today i'm not yet to condemn you because this scripture is in the scripture so we are going to open the bible for it i don't want to use my mouth to say any word like so that you will not think oh i am here to condemn you oh because i'm not a deeper life look at the way i dress so people said i'm a deeper life i want to tell you this is not all about deeper life deeper life is just a title it's just a name right it's just a name the important thing who is doing the will of god the important Thing, who, who follow the righteousness of God 
That is the important thing. Who follow the righteousness of God, not in mm-hmm. own self righteousness. So my question is that: Are you following the righteousness of God or your own righteousness? Your own righteousness you are practicing. That is the main thing. The righteousness of God, He has given us the word that we should follow. Right? We should follow this word. It was, Jesus is this word. In the word, in the beginning was with God. The word was God. So this word is God. It's Jesus. So I want we all to understand this thing that we, if we really read Bible, and this verse that I'm going to take you to today, just only this one verse, I'm, I want us to read it together and understand it together. So I want to know, are you doing your, self, uh, your righteousness? Like, are you serving God? Because they are different now. Everybody just serving God in different way. But God is, Jesus is one. But if you look at the old world, they are not sharing Jesus more than 30, more than 50 with different way, different dress, different, different look, different attitude, different character, right? Now, my question is that, are we following the righteousness of God? Are we following the holiness of God? Or we are just following our own? We, we have this, like... We have the zeal to serve. We have the zeal of God in us, but we are still following our own righteousness, like our own. We are practicing what we want to practice, but we have the zeal to serve God. Like we have the zeal of God in us, but we are following our righteousness, not God righteousness, because we are following our righteousness and we 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 are not following according to the knowledge. Praise the Lord. We are not following according to the knowledge. I am not here to condemn you. I am not here to judge you. But the Bible is going to speak for us now. So my prayer that the Lord gave you the understanding. You have the zeal of God in you. There is no doubt in that. You have the zeal of God in you. There is no doubt in that. But are you serving God? Are you following the, the, the righteousness of God? That is the question I am here to ask you. And I know you may not know. You will think you are serving God. But don't forget the righteousness of God is, is in the word. So, which is every word that he has given us here that we should obey and follow. That is why the Jews today, they follow the law, but not by faith. They just follow the law. That is why the Holy Spirit did not enter. That is why they did not know, not know anything about Jesus. They are just following the law. But why the Jetta, they did not only follow the law, but they follow it by faith. They follow it by faith because nobody sees God. We don't see him. No, we only follow the word because the word is him. So that is why every word that come out from this Bible, we obey. We want to obey it because the word is God himself. So that through his word, so that we can receive that Holy Spirit on that last day that will take us to eternal life, that will make us to, to fly with him on the last day. So this is our faith that the word is God. That is why we follow the law. We follow the law with faith. We obey the law with faith. Because nobody has seen Jesus. No, we have not. Nobody has seen God. It is a spirit. So because it's, it's, it, the word is him, that is why we follow the law of his word by faith. But the Jews was not like that. Go on, if you read the book of Roma. The Jews, the Roman night, if you read it very go and study your Bible. The Jews was not like that. That is why we were once rejected that we are not God people because we are Jeta. But because the Jews, the Jews refused to follow, they followed the law, but not by faith. They just follow it. But they, they were doing their own self-righteousness. That is why. The Lord have mercy on us and call us now his people. Before we are, we are not God people. We the Jetta because we never received Christ at the beginning. We don't even know God. But the Jews know God. So now I am here to ask you. What type of Christian are you? What type of Christian are you? Are you that Christian? You follow your own. You have the Z of Christ in you. Yes, you have the Z of Christ. But you are practicing your own righteousness. Your own, not God's own. Because you lost from the knowledge of God. You don't have that knowledge. It's not there. 
That is why you follow your, that is why you refuse to obey every words that come from this Bible. How do you, how do you say you love God? Oh, you don't even see God. If you go and read the book now, read the book of, um, the book of John, John 1. He said the word, the word, not the old word, the word is God. So that means his word is him. By faith, we are obey, we are following the law by faith because we don't really know him because he's a spirit. But by faith, we follow the law. But why do you say that you don't want to follow the law, that the law does not mean? But the preachers and the and the and the members in the church. That if the Bible says you should dress modestly, that you should not put on like Jezebel, you don't want to obey. Which God are you serving like that? Which God do you know? Because if you know this God, it said the word is God. The word alone is God. So now the word is here for you to receive. But no. How can you have that Holy Spirit without obeying this law? How can you have that Holy Spirit when you look like a Jezebel? When you as a pastor, you look like a, a club man. You will see that they pimp their hair with Jericho. They do their hair with, with Koli Koli. They Koli Koli their hair, pastor. If you see the way they carve their head, members should be falling for them and say, this my pastor is very beautiful. Before you know, you made the woman to lust after you as a pastor in the altar preaching. Member who came to church to serve, to serve God, they begin to lust after you. They forget why they came there. But they have the zeal of God. They begin to follow their righteousness, not God's righteousness. And you forget that through that God's righteousness, you will be saved. Through that God's righteousness, you will not have that in you. Through that God's righteousness, on that last day, you will be with him. But what did you do? You allow the member not looking at you. You are not the God they are not seeing. You are not the God they are not practicing day and night. You are not the God, your own God, that they are doing their righteousness with. This is how God wants us to look at the beginning. Because God, the word is God. The word you are saying now is God. If you have the knowledge of God, read your Bible. You have a Bible, read your Bible. When you read your Bible, you will understand this Bible that you did not make yourself to this word. Not even your mother that bring you to this world because somebody put you in your mother's womb. Not even your father that make your mother because somebody put something in your father's body for he to produce you. If you think that you are living, you want to do your own righteousness by makeup, eyelashes, when the word which is God have declared that this is how I want it, and you say your own righteousness you want to do, on that ladder you will see yourself on hair. People may be clapping for you now. Sister, you are beautiful, looking good, cute, handsome. They will be commenting for you. But you will still wait. They will go and comment for you in air fire. That is why many people is possessing. When the word, which is God, have given you the word, this is the way you will look. So that the devil cannot possess you. So that they cannot enter you dressed like this. You say no. When you started looking like a Jezebel, like a Lucifer, they, they begin to manipulate because they think you are their own. You are their instrument they can use. They begin to use you as their instrument. That is why they say this one, get Agbanje. This one, get this one. Because of the things you were putting on, because of the way you live your life. You allow that opportunity for devil to use you. You are going to church. Yes. I did say you are not, you have that Z of, of God, Right? But my question is that, why are you practicing your own righteousness? If you say you are going to church to serve God, if you say you are preaching God, then why didn't you preach God from this Bible? Why didn't you obey every word that is written in this Bible? Because he said the word is God. W-O-R-O-D is God. 
So why? Because why? You don't have that knowledge. And you don't seek for it before you open church. You don't seek for it before you gather members. You use your philosophy to gather members. And the members, they join you with your philosophy. Anything you say, that is what is final. You are not their God. You are not, you are not the one they are practicing day and night. They are not practicing God anymore. Those children, those children of God who have the zeal, who have the zeal of God in them, that yes, they want to serve God, but because of the way you are teaching them, they depart from the righteousness of God and follow men righteousness. There is men righteousness. There is Lucifer righteousness. You will see a singer, I am not here to judge you, I am not here to condemn you, but Bible will speak for itself now. You look at yourself, you quote Bible to sink. You quote from Genesis to Revelation to sink. My question is that, do you obey that word that you are bringing out of your mouth? Do you obey it? That is the question. The word that you are bringing out of your mouth, do you obey it? That is my question that I'm asking now. Because if you obey the word that you are speaking, that means you are in the right track. You have the knowledge of God in you. Yes, you sing. You sing with the name of God with all the scripture in the Bible. You minister with all the scripture in the Bible. Look at yourself. Do you obey the scripture that you are giving out of, out of the Bible? That is why we all are confused. Now I am dressing like this. Some are calling me I'm a deeper life. Deeper life is just a title. This is how God wants us to be looking. Natural. This is how he said we should dress modestly. So that we see Christ in us. Not Jezebel in us. Before we speak out, they already see that, that, that mark in our forehead. That yes, this, those are the lights. Those are the Christ-like. You, before you speak out, they already know already. Not you looking like a Jezebel. Not you looking like a Jezebel. Before they see Christ in you, if Christ is in you, they first of all, they introduce you as a Jezebel because of the way you look. Because of the way you are looking. You are a minister. You pray, you, you sing, you use the scripture to sing, to sing, to sing, to sing, to sing. But did you obey the scripture? Because the word is God. This word is God himself. Have you seen the spirit? No. But it makes you to understand the book of John. Chapter 1 that the word is him. The word is him. So this word that we are reading day and night. How many times do you obey it? You will not listen. No. I wish I'm shaking my hands now. You will begin to listen. I wish I'm talking all those poets, poet things. You, 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 you will share it. Those things that is taking you to air fire, this is what you're listening to. The word that will save your soul, you don't want to hear it. You don't want to hear it. You cannot tell your fellow sister that, sister, this is the way you are dressing. It's not the way Christians used to dress. Follow the Bible if you know you are really serving God. Preacher, follow the Bible if you know you are really packing the sheep, you are the shepherd, you are, you are escorting the sheep to their father. Obey the same thing that the Bible said. You are our servant. You have to do, don't let your member to know more than you. Because now many members are, have opened. When they want to speak, pastor will say, shut up. Me that God all day. I'm not the one that teach you. I'm not the one that brought you into church. Do you know God before? Because that one is afraid. He will obey you. I can never obey such people because they are from, they are the Antichrist they are calling, talking about. The Bible makes me understand that those are the Antichrist. So that is why I stand for this word. Because this word is God. Every word that comes out here is the word of God. There is no way man writes except those who something happened to. Yes, it happened. There was a reason it happened. It's the same God. I 
am here to tell you, my brothers and sisters, to open your eyes. By the understanding God gave me to understand this Bible verse, that you too, it will help you. You have to check around yourself, know who you are serving. Ministers, oh, look at that sister. God just changed you. You quit from a, 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 because if we don't tell you, you may not know where you are driving to. You think you are doing the right thing. He said, don't judge anybody. We are not judging, but Bible is judging already. It is the Bible that is, if I cannot bring out scripture from what I'm saying, it's okay. That means I'm judging you like you said. But if I bring out scripture for what I'm saying, that means the Bible now is not judging you. Because this is what the Bible says. You say God changed you. What is the example you are showing? What is the true example that God really changed you? Even Lucifer sings gospel music. Mm -hmm. Lucifer can quote Bible. Yes, he quote Bible for Jesus in the wilderness. Lucifer can quote Bible. So, if Lucifer can quote Bible, so what is the thing that you will make me to believe that, yes, God really changed you? What are the things that will make me to believe that God really changed you? Is it when you dress like a man, you wear a woman, you're not dressed like a man, and you call yourself a Christian, that will make me to believe God changed you? No. So, I am here. I want us to study this scripture together. Praise the Lord. Don't forget, I want us to read this Bible first. We are going to take time, a little time today by God's grace. As the Spirit leads us, we stop. So I want us to, first of all, you have to know what you are reading. Sister, you that go to church, you say every day you go to church. Let's, first of all, we are going to read this now. You say you are serving God, right? You are serving. Who is this God that you are serving? That is the question. Who is this God? This God, you cannot see him. He is the spirit. That is why he's your spiritual father. He is a spirit. So what did it let us to know that, yes, we are serving him? In the book of John, listen. Because many people said that this devil, now you want be right now. He's not you want be that write this Bible. He's you want be that write it. We don't believe this Bible. It's white people that write it. You are ignorant. You don't know what you are saying. Because if you know what you have, anything in life have history. Everything has history. Everything in life has history. And in that history, the, the spirit made people to write it. They don't just come out and begin to write what they don't know. So now, before we enter this discussion, you that go to church, you have a boyfriend. This is, listen, I just want, I pray may God open your heart, eye this minute. Open the understanding of your ear this minute. If your brain has been brainwashed by false prophets, by false churches you are going, may God now open your eye now to see this in the name of Jesus Christ. Because we are here to save each other. The Bible makes understand, love each other. If I love my neighbor, I will not allow my neighbor to fall into hell. I will not even pray for my neighbor to enter hell. Now that we are still alive, I can still correct my neighbor. Through the spirit of God that is in me. For him, for he or she also to have the same spirit. So that she also can still correct another person when it's going to hell. Before it's too late. That is why we are in this world. Each and every one of us has an assignment. Why is here? What is your assignment of this world? Why are you in this world? Now, we are still first of all going to read this word. Book of John chapter 1 verse 1 said. In the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. This word is W-O-R-O-D, which is the word we are reading now, right? He said the word is God. Praise the Lord. The word was God. So that means this word we are reading now is God. Amen? So God is a spirit. But this word we are reading, we are reading the word now, which is him is the word that we are reading. Okay, I want us also to go to Psalm 33. Before I take you to straight to the scripture, 
where we are, we are, we are going. I want you to understand something. I don't want you to be confused. I just want you to understand very powerful something. If they are telling you that Bible is, is Bible, does, no, Bible is fake. See for the Spirit of God. He doesn't like the Spirit of God. A uh, uh, revelation of God. Revelation of God. If you don't take the revelation in the Bible, how can you say the revelation of God? If your revelation is contradicting the Bible, you want to say that the Lord is contradicting himself when he said the word was God. The word is hid itself. And you have a revelation different from the Bible. Not even in this from Genesis to Revelation. And you say you are serving God. Ask yourself, what type of a Christian are you? Are you your own righteousness you are doing? What type of a preacher are you? Are you that preacher that is doing your, your own righteousness with your members? Or are you the, the shepherd that is really leading the sheep to, to Jesus? Me and you have never seen God. God is a spirit, like I said. So he now come and make us to understand that the word is him. That is why. Because how? When the God he spoke the word and Mary conceived, he told the angel, said the angel, you will conceive a son. He shall be named Jesus. He speak the word. The word is God. Then he speak the word to make a woman a, 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 to make a woman pregnant and came as a human form and made that woman to manifest in a human form so that we will recognize him to look like the same like us so that we will listen to him it was a word he speak that is why he said me and my father are one he speak the word and the word manifests and bring out a son. And bring out a son. And they say his word. When Jesus said. Me and my father are one. My father is in me. I am in him. You don't know what he's talking about. Because the spirit speak the word. And it manifests and made human, human being. Is the word. When he said let there be light. Is the word he speak. Let there be light. Is the word. So open your ears now, my brothers and sisters. We are here to save each other. Without this word, we following this word, we are going to different direction. That is why you see many Christians. You don't know who is the true genuine Christian. Except you are, you have the spirit of God. You will know your brother. You will know your sister. The spirit pronounced the word, which is God. It pronounced the word. Let there be light. There was light, right? Then he pronounced the word and from he pronounced it and Mary was pregnant and he gave birth to a son. God allowed that son to come as a human form because that is a word. Jesus was the, the, the one that died for you. The word of God is what died for you. Because he speak out. He conceived. And he came as a flesh. It was the word of God that died for you. Because he pronounced the word that Mary, you shall conceive a son. He pronounced the word. So now, I am here to open your, by the special grace of God, that your eye, God should open your eyes. So that you will know who you are serving. You don't want to follow Bible. Who are you serving? He said the word was God. The word we are reading is God himself. Why? We don't want to follow him. We are not practicing our own righteousness. You forget the, you have the zeal of God. But you are practicing your own because you lack of the knowledge of God. And Holy Spirit cannot dwell in you. Upon all your singing and worshiping. It can never dwell in you. It can never. Open your eye. You preach. You sing. With the scripture, this scripture you sing and you preach with, are you obeying it? Are you obeying it? You argue the Bible. That means you are arguing God. You are arguing the Bible. Because why? You don't have that knowledge. You follow your own righteousness. You didn't follow God's righteousness. Because if you follow God's righteousness, you will obey every word that comes from this Bible. 
so that everybody will be one. That is why we are separate. So I make up and jeans church. Why some uh, uh, curly pastor, they cut their hair. If you see some pastor, they cut their hair. They cut their hair. They look like Lucifer. When they come to church, they begin to lost after the pastor. They want to serve God before they begin to lost because the pastor is handsome. Maybe the pastor have three children already, four children. They will begin to make that sister to lost. That is why if you see some Christian, some sister, some minister, member who want to listen to your song, the way you are dressing, the, the brother will be lusting after you. He don't mind. He will spend all his money on you because he think you are really serving God. That the spirit of God, he think that he's just loving you. He didn't know that the spirit is in you is Jezebel. Because Jezebel produce makeup for you to look like that. He make you to look like him, like her, the way she is. When you sing, you think everyone want to fall. That is her, not everyone. But you quote all the scripture to sing, to write your song. You quote all the scripture to sing your song. But you obey it. That is the thing. Psalm 33 verse 6 says, It says, by the word of the Lord, we are the evil made. Oh! They say the word, my sister, my brother, I am here to tell you, listen to me and be saved. Listen to me and leave that first church you are going. Listen to me and throw away all those Lucifer things, Jezebel things in your life and follow the true righteousness of God if you want to be saved. Listen to me before it's too late for you. He said, by the word of the Lord, we are the evil made. By the word. W O D, the word. Evil. The, it just pronounced by the word. He just said it. Let there be evil. Let there be earth. And it just come just like that by the words. So now, by the same word, it, it puts here for me and you. You say no. That uh, he just writes it. Uh, it's not you might be that write it. Can we we can't we can't obey her now? How can we obey her? Bible says don't fornicate. But you're full of fornication. All your life is fornication. And you go to church and sing. So I want to first of all make you understand now that God is the word. Which his name is Jesus. Which his name is what? Jesus. He is the word. That is why he told you me and my father are one. Because why did God, the Spirit, pronounce the word and inform a human being in the womb of Mary? So it's the word of God that died for you. That is why the word came again to save you. He bring the word again that through this word, you shall be saved. Praise the Lord. So now I want you to get it there. Okay, let's drive to where I came. Where I came. Praise the Lord. I want us to go to Roman 10. My brothers and sisters, any church you are going now that they are full of makeup like a Jezebel, run for your dear life. The word of God is not there. The word, what the word is God, is not there. It's not there. Run for your dear life before that makeup will send you to hell. Ministers, all the gospel singers, we know you sing very well. There is no doubt. You have a lovely voice, my sister. But don't go and use this voice at the end in air fire. Run for your dear life now before it's too late. And act to the voice of the Lord. Open your Bible to Roma 10. Open your Bible to Roma 10. Roma 10. Are we there? Oh Lord, I pray may the Spirit of the Lord give you understanding right now in Jesus' name. He said, Brethren, my heart desire and pray to God for Israel is that they may be saved. They what may be saved. Verse 2, he said, For I bear their record that they have a zeal of God. Listen, which Israel are we talking about here? Which children, which children of God call themselves they are Christian? But they are very far. Those who said they are Christians, those who have churches, those our sisters who go to church, they, we all are the Israel, right? We are. 
but they have the zeal of God in them. Listen, but they have the zeal of God. He said, he pray for you that you should be, he desire to pray for you that you shall save. Like the way I desire right now that God Almighty to give you the understanding of his word right now so that you shall be saved and know where you are. That church you are going, that is sending you to hell. That, that, that pastor, you are, you are, look at the way you are sending people to hell. For you to repent now and enter the true gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. So that you will, all your sheep on that day that you are gathering for God, you people on that day, you will see Jesus. Jesus will say, welcome my faithful servants. Praise the Lord. So, he's saying that now, listen, he's saying that he... Desire, he, uh, he had desire to pray for God for Israel. Is that they may be saved because they have went to the wrong direction. Praise the Lord. They have went to the wrong direction. They leave the world, which is the God. They leave the world and follow their own righteousness. But they have the zeal of God. That is why they go to church. They have that zeal of God in them. That is why you see them many in the church. Makeup, eyelashes, jeans, wevon, pastor calling his hair, wearing cap on his hair, pastor wife, we are looking like a Jezebel. All of them, they are dancing in the altar. Man of God rubbing his wife in the altar of God, making people to using the temple of God to do joke, using it to do joke. He said, my heart right now desire to, to pray to God for you to be saved and repent now. So that you will know that you are going to hell with that thing you are doing. How dare you? In the altar, in the temple of God. It's not, you turn it to a clubhouse. You turn it to a comedian house. And those are the Israel. But he's praying for you now because you have missed it. After you stay with a boy, you are living with a boy in the same house. You go to church on Sunday. You use actual money to pay off free. And the pastor say, you will walk in Jesus' name. You will walk in Jesus' name. You will walk in Jesus' name. And the pastor knows the job you are doing. You are following your own self-righteousness. You are not following the God righteousness at all. You have missed it. That is why I pray for you now. That I pray to God because for your sake that you may be saved. That God should have mercy upon you and make you to repent now that it's not too late. That you should not be like Pharaoh who hid in his heart. Even when Jesus said, let my people go. Pastors, you, you know where you are going already. Where you buy your power. Let the children of God go. Let them go. Let them go and serve God in spirit and in truth. As many that want to serve God, if you see the many children of God, they really have that zeal to serve God. But who is shepherding them, leading them to hell? Leading them to hell. If you see many Christians today, many guests, they want to serve God. But where they are, they cannot live there because the past or what he used for them, we don't know. They say, come the way you look. God does not condemn you. The Bible is condemning you now. The Bible is judging you now. Leave them and set them free. Don't clap for them who have a boyfriend and say, where is your husband when he has not married to him? You will see some people say, where is your wife? Because he has a baby for him. Where is your wife? Did he marry the wife? Did he ma what kind of pastor are you? Where are you sending them to? When you cannot stand in the pulpit and tell them the truth, even if it's only you and your children is in that temple, let them go, but speak the truth. The truth is God himself. The truth is God himself. So that that truth will dwell in you, so that on that day the Spirit of God will come upon you, you will go to heaven. You follow philosophy. You say no. You want to follow Bible school. To, you use philosophy to gather members. And those members follow philosophy also. Yeah, listen to what the Bible is saying. Roma 10. From verse 1 we are reading. Roma 10. If you are there with your Bible, open your Bible. Because Bible, the word of God, is our standard. Because the word of God, he was God. He is God according to, first, according to John 1. 
John chapter 1. This is what we believe. And Psalm 33, verse 6 also said it. That it was the word of the Lord that made heaven. He pronounced the word, there was heaven and there was earth. So the same word he has given us now. Let them go. Let those brothers and sisters go and serve God. Let them go where there is truth so that they can repent. Their soul will not be perished. I pray for God to you now that you set those children free. You first pastor, you that is leading those children to hell. Making them to look like a Jezebel. The wrath of God is coming upon you. It will not be too late. Even both your children that you have made your children to look like also a Jezebel. You turn the ass of God to a family member church. Leave those children now and let them go and serve God in spirit. Most of them, their name is written in the book of life. But you want them to go to hell. Because you know where you are going already. Because Pharaoh know where he was going. That is why he hacking his heart not to listen to God. Even when God sent Moses to him how many times, he refused to let his children go. Jesus is still telling you, let his people go from that your evil church. Let them go so that they will repent and change yourself the way and follow the way of God, the righteousness of God, so that they can serve God. Let them go. Don't let them believe in your philosophy that you believe on. Bible school that you go. Who go to Bible school in the Bible? From Genesis to Revelation, measure anybody who go to Bible school. Do you think there was no school at that time? People graduate. There was school at that time. Who told you there was no school? Who told you there was no school? Is it not that the same philosophy the, the Pharisees and Sadducees follow? When they could not have the Holy Spirit because they were lacking of the knowledge of God. They were practicing their own righteousness. But those who follow God, those who follow Christ, they die for the gospel. The first Christian, the four holy women, they die for the gospel. But their children, they don't care. Because they know this world was not for them. They follow the gospel and they die for that gospel. Are you ready to set the children of God free? They have made mistake of going to your church. They have made mistake of stepping their feet to that church. Are you want to say your power is bigger than God's power? Do you want to say that your power, where you get your power for? That God cannot destroy you and your power? Are you not trying to say that you want to send thousands of people to hell? Where, even where they are Jews in heaven, God is the wrath of God is coming upon you so quickly. The wrath of God is coming upon you so quickly, you first pastors. You that gather with your belly because you want to make money. You begin to open church because you know Bible verses. You open church and begin to prophesy. Deceiving people, be sending them to hell. You don't want to allow them to practice the righteousness of God. But you allow them to practice your own righteousness. The wrath of God is coming upon you. Look at you and your wife the way you look. Look at the way you turn your children to. That innocent children. Maybe they are or they to heaven, you made them to look like a queen of the course, so that the people will say this is the children of pastor, they are pastor children, look at the way they are beautiful you are sending those children to hell the wrath of God is calling upon you except to let the children of God go let them go, you are a pharaoh you first prophet, you first prophetess you first pastors, you are pharaoh, let the children of God go let them go, let them go and serve God in spirit and in truth let them go from that your evil church. Let them go. The Bible will be the one to judge you. The word that you are hearing, according to Matthew, you say the word will judge you on the last day. It's not him that will judge you. You are hearing now. You are making it because you are giving them money. You are sending money to their account. You use money to blind their eye. They cannot know the true gospel. Oh, Lord Jesus, save your children, Lord. Save your children, Lord. The wrath of God is coming upon you. 
You that make a student to look like a Jezebel. Even there are some Christians, their conscience is judging them. There are some sisters that say, ah, this thing is true. They meet the pastor. Pastor say, don't bother yourself. That initrates, that initrate pastor that is preaching. Leave that one. He doesn't know what is preaching. Uh, the old days and this time are they the same? I am telling you, the same God yesterday, the same God today, the same God forever. He never changed. It's a prophecy we cease. Speaking in tongues, they cease. But the word of God will never cease nor change. The word of God remains the same. If the word of God can tell you now that a woman should not look like a Jezebel and you have a wife that looks like a Jezebel, you will never preach it because your wife loves makeup. Maybe because of that makeup, you marry her. That is why you, don't, you, you deceive all the full church. I cry for them and I pray. According to this Bible, it's a bad train. My heart desire and pray to God for Israel. My heart desire now to pray to God for you. That those churches have blinded your eye, you gospel singer. God just changed you, just saved your life from demonic music. Now you follow again. You go to Lucifer, you think that you are in rat track. You now even look like men. Wearing men clothes. What is the difference? You, what are they going to like show that yes, you are really? Is it because you sing? Devil sing the gospel song, devil can quote Bible. It is written here. We are not ignorant of that. Because even devil quote Bible for Jesus. Devil preached prosperity to Jesus. He told Jesus to turn this bread to, to turn this stone to bread. That is prosperity message. To eat and eat and eat and eat and eat, and eat to have money. He tells Jesus, if you fall from this step to down, look at this old nation, this beautiful nation, I will hand over there to you. But Jesus said, no, that shall not tempt my God, which is the word that found me. You cannot tempt him. But you today, they have used money a lot. They have used it to deceive you all. You cannot refuse and say, no, I stand for God. I want to look like the way God creates me. I want to look like that. Let me continue reading because I'm crying for your soul. I wish you can open your eye and see where you are going. I wish you can open your eye, brothers and sisters, and see where you are going if you don't repent from that fornication. If you don't repent from that makeup, if you don't repent from that human hair lashes, I wish you see where you are going. You will, you will cry. You will repent now because you are carnal. You can never see it because the spirit of God is not in you. You can never see it because you don't want to allow God to possess you. Repent now before it's too late. Repent now before it's too late. Leave that church of prosperity. Leave that church of prosperity. The devil dis wanted to deceive Jesus with prosperity message. He wanted to deceive. He forget that it was his word that formed that, that body. That he can never deceive it. How will Jesus follow the devil, what he was saying, who could have died for you? Who? Why are you betraying Jesus? Why are you betraying him now? Why are you betraying him who died for your sin? He said, just look holy for me. He didn't say you to give him money. He didn't ask you for anything. He said, just look holy. Practice righteousness. Serve me in spirit and in truth. On that day, you shall be with me. Well, what is so difficult for you? I cry for your soul. Because if you know where you are going, if you know where you are going, you will repent. If the Lord can open your eyes and see where you are going, you will repent. I cry for my, even my sisters who are in the same position. You are speaking in tongues in Jezebel body. Ask yourself, is that the tongue of God? Ask yourself. You open shut because you want to get money from members. You don't care their soul. You don't care about their soul. 
If you can see where you are going, Jesus gave us an example and said to us, this is how the devil quotes scripture for us to know. That if devil can quote a scripture for him, also he will quote for us. We should be wise and vigilant. If devil can quote a prosperity message and tell Jesus, if you fall from this top and come down, I will give you all the nation. Why then? Now, Jesus did not follow the, the, what the devil was saying. Why are you not following prosperity message? If you are really a seed of God, if you really know this God, if you really know who died for you, why? I'm asking you, examine yourself. Let me tell you who you are now. Shake yourself. The devil put urge in your body, sexual urge. Any smut in your body, your, your body go to do, you may go sleep with girl. Any smut in your body go to do, you may go sleep with man. Because the devil wants you to continue fornicating. Even on the last day, the rush of take place, it will meet you on top of a woman. And you think you can go to heaven with fornication. <laughs> oh, Lord Jesus. I wish your children can just see where they are going. I wish they can see... Where they are going. Verse 2, I read. He said, For I hear them, I, for I bear them record that they have a Z of God. Like the way I see many of you, you have the Z of God. He said, But not according to the knowledge. Not according to the knowledge of God, but you have the Z to serve God. But that is why you go to church because if you don't have that, you could have not go to church. But something is missing. Where you are fellowship do not allow you to have the knowledge because all he preached to you is prosperity message. He has bewitched your brain with prosperity. He tell you, come the way you look. God does not condemn you. The word of God is already condemning you, judging you already. If I speak on my own without no scripture, that means I am judging you. But if I come out here to save you, God using me right now to speak to you. That that is not what he died for. He did not die for prosperity message. Even the devil tried to deceive him. But he did not fall to it. It is better you are poor and go to heaven than you are rich and go to hell. People don't understand that word. You don't understand that word. When you are rich now, you are poor in your spiritual life. When you are rich physically, you are poor in your spiritual life. You don't see anything. You are poor, totally poor. But when you are rich in spiritual life, you will be poor physically. But not don't the kind of poor that you'll be poor, you don't even have food to eat. No, I'm not talking about that. You are rich in your spiritual life. You are rich. But when you are rich in physical, you are poor in your spiritual. That is why you are blind. You don't have this knowledge the Bible you're talking about. You are blind because the spirit of God is not in you. I advise you, you are married. You have a wife. Tell your wife to throw away that with her, that attachment. That money, if you gather it, it can save the widows. You can use it to do something for the widows. As you are serving God in spirit and in truth, you will still be happy the widows, receiving the true message of God. Have peace in your home. You will have rest of mind. You will not be killing yourself. I am in this world, but I am not from this world. Where I'm going, that is where I lay my treasure in. That is where I am. I lay my treasure on. I set my afflictions on the things of above, not the things of this world, because this world does not belong to me. It does not belong to you, brother. It does not belong to you at all. Shake your life. You suffer, suffer, suffer. 
It's better you suffer and be rich in your spiritual life than suffer and be rich in physical. But your spiritual life is poor. That is why you, you don't see anything. You are just blind. That is why those pastors, they are sending you to hell. They will never tell you the truth. They are sending you to hell. They will come and deceive you and say, because... Uh, you are not, God does not say we should look like an old woman. Our God is not a poor God. Are you not ashamed? How are you not serving the God now? You, how are you not serving the God? Our God is not a poor God. Our God is a beautiful God. Look beautiful with like a Jersey bear. You should look beautiful like a Jersey bear with makeup, with eyelashes, with nails, with paint. When you have your natural skin, which bleaching your skin, when you have your natural skin, when you have your natural beauty, sleeping with a man who has not got married to you, you're receiving costs. You call that that you are enjoying. That this is my wife. A woman who, have, who you have not married is you call her your wife. A man who is not your husband, you call her your husband. Let's continue reading. Please, I pray God gave you the understanding today. Verse 2, I read again. It says, For I bear them record that they have a zeal of God, but not according to the knowledge. Verse 3, it says, For they be ignorant of God's righteousness. Oh, because they are ignorant of God's righteousness. You see it? You are going to that church. You are ignorant of God's righteousness. Ignorance. You don't know who you are serving. You don't even know who you are serving. You are not ignorant of God's righteousness. Because why? You lack of that knowledge. You follow prosperity message. Pastor will tell you, you can friend again. You can pack makeup on your face. You can wear the best in my hair. You can wear eye jeans. This is what they are telling you in that church. That is where you miss it. That is where you miss it. Don't be deceived, my brothers and sisters. They want to send you to hell. Because many pastors, they know where they are going already. It's like a Pharaoh. You see when Moses tell Pharaoh, let the God said, let my people go. Pharaoh laugh and say, hey, 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 hey. Later, Pharaoh will, fear, Pharaoh will fear. When the message, when they go, when the Moses go, Pharaoh will say, no, lie, lie. Even the servant of Pharaoh, we are telling Pharaoh, you have promised those people that you will release the people. Release them and let them go. He said, what are you saying? Hey, 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 I will not release. My, my alcohol, my, my, my alcohol, like people are dying because of alcohol right now. My alcohol, there is no femi inside. So drink, let me drink. He gives to a little boy who does not know anything. Because Pharaoh knows where he was going. He said, Oh, this your God. It is still good now because if they don't come, because they are not pastor, they came as a pastor now, right? They came as a pastor, like this God has sent them to come. They came now as an angel to send because they will never use the name of Lucifer to preach to you. Because you know, you acknowledge that, that Lucifer is the devil. So they will never use that name to come to you, to draw you to that church. But they will use the name of Jesus to come and start preaching prosperity to you. That prosperity message, it begin to enter your head. Pastor will give you 20,000. He will give you 50,000. Hey, daddy, you have changed my life. Since I've started this church, my life has changed. When you're, you are due to hell. What about your spiritual life? He has changed your life physical. Pastor, I've changed your life physical. But what about your spiritual life? It makes you to follow philosophy. As I'm talking right now, people are saying, this will not be the one with my pastor they talk. Oh. My pastor does not preach like this. So I don't, you are confused right now. You don't even know what. You are confused. Has that church big rich? That big church. That big church is sending you to hell. Any show, they are not preaching repentance that friending a boy is a sin. Sleeping with a married woman is a sin. Lying is a sin. Happiness is a sin. Hatred is a sin. Selfishness is a sin. Any show, they are not preaching it. Wivon is a sin. Even Yeri, throw them away. 
God does not like it. In any way, they are not preaching that to you. That church is not for God. Those are the things God died for. Jesus died for you because you are you were a sinner, fornicator, liars, blasphemers. He came to die for you. Sister, brother, do you want to go to heaven? I read again, verse 2. He said, For I bear them record that, I, I, that they have the zeal of God, but not according to the knowledge. You have the zeal. I can see many people. You, you, that is why you go to church. Right? You have that zeal. That is why you go to church. But the knowledge is not there. Pastor, I bring with your knowledge and give you their own philosophy knowledge for you to believe the prosperity message that will send you to hell. You are, you are, you are, your, you are a woman you are not married to. You are wearing the same shirt. You are standing. Well, honey, honey, the, you have not paid that woman bride price. He, he, you, he, you, you pregnant and now she has two children for you. You are saying this, especially this syrup. You are staying with her now. You are calling it honey. On Sunday, you wear the same native, native cloth. You go to church. Who see? They will think you are paying a bride price. You are due to her. If you don't run for your life in that church, who does not tell you the truth? You are going to her. You are going to hell. You are going to hell. A man have not married you. You are wearing the same clothes. Sleeping with him anyhow. Day and night. Cooking for him. See, finish never come. At the end, tell you you don't want to marry you again. How do you feel? And you will go to hell. Verse 3. He said, for they being ignorant. They being ignorant of. of be ignorant of God's. Righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness. Oh, they are not establishing their own righteousness. You see what I'm talking about? Pastors now they have their own righteousness they are establishing that the member in the church will also follow. That means we vote does not mean it does not mean God look at the acts. If you like friend a boy, it does not mean God is a merciful God. It does not mean God can forgive you. God that God 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 cannot allow you to go to hell. Is a faithful God. I tell you today, you will go to hell because why? Listen to the Bible now. I am reading from the Bible. The Bible is the one that is going to judge you on the last day. This is the word. You have you are here, you have complete already because you are hearing the word now. I read again. Verse four, verse three. He said, for they be ignorant of God's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness. Have not submit themselves unto the righteousness of God. They don't want to submit themselves to the righteousness of God. They don't want to obey God. They don't want to follow the Bible. They don't want to follow the Bible. They don't want to be modestly appearance. They don't want to leave attachment. They don't want to leave human air. They don't want to stop leave that brother because that brother, I love that. For you to love that brother, why can't you love God? Why can't you love God? That brother will take you to hell. If you continue loving that brother and sleeping with that brother, you will go to hell on the last day. You will see that the world that you hear have, have already judged you on the last day. That you will be judged, you will go to hell. One will eat you. The, the Lucifer and his angel will carry you and put you in the lake of fire. He said, they go. Listen, I read that part again. It, listen, my brother says, he said, for they be ignorant of God's righteousness and going about to establish their home righteousness. Many open church establish practicing their own righteousness. They carry Bible in the altar. They copy, copy, follow philosophy and begin to quote the testimony of Jesus Christ. This word the member here in the church, the testimony of Jesus Christ. I said today, God bless Abraham. God bless Isaac. God bless Moses. Receive the blessing now. The Mumu church go say, Amen. I receive in Jesus' name. After you receive, you go home. You throw away Bible. Some people don't even go to church with Bible. Because they know what their pastor preaches, prosperity. They already know already. So it's for them just to say, Amen. And receive that prosperity. This is what they establish. This is where they establish and, and gather members. They gather all the members. They don't care about your soul because they know where they are going already. They don't care about your soul. If you like some of them, they will even go on their knee and pray to God. But you, you are doomed to hell. You that is going to that church. You don't know where you are. He said the first prophet, they are already in the world. They are already here. 
They are already here. Open your eye. They are even doing fake miracle. As I'm talking to you now. God wants to expose them. God is already exposing them. Now, they are covering themselves and say, the Lord told me that another disgrace is coming. How can God tell you another disgrace is coming? Hmm? God will just tell you, my servant, another disgrace is coming. Another people want to uh, accuse you. They want to tell you do this way you did not do it. And you know you do it. How can God tell you that? You see when people are going to fire, if you blaspheme with the name of the Holy Ghost, you are already doomed to hell. You are in danger. In danger of hell already. There will be no mercy. All the cry you will cry. Cry it now. That you are crying because of that your boyfriend leave you. He, my boyfriend leave me. But you know they cry because of God. You cannot cry because of God. But you are crying because of that brother. You are crying because of that sister. You don't even have that love for God. He said. I read it. He said. Going and bad to establish their own righteousness. Have not submit themselves unto the righteousness of God. They don't want to submit that because the righteousness of God, listen, is holiness. You cannot have a boyfriend. Mm -mm. You can marry, but you cannot do boyfriend. You cannot lie. You cannot envy your brother. When you have money, you give to who people who does not have so that your people will be equal. You cannot pack all those yeri, all those attachments, all those with one. You cannot expose your breasts. This is the right, this is the way of Christ. You cannot get angry or temper. You cannot come and be condemning. This is the way of Christ. But you cannot see your sister is going to air fire and you leave him to go. No. You have to bring him, him, bring him or she out. This is the way of Christ. This is what is difficult for people to do. You cannot be drinking alcohol because the Holy Spirit does not dwell where alcohol dwells. It's a lack, a lack and darkness cannot be in one place together. Whether you leave yourself for the right for the righteousness for, for the for the spirit to overtake it, or you, you, you leave yourself from alcohol to overtake you. Why that is Lucifer that will lead you to your early grief. Do you know why people are dying and you don't know? The wrath of God is coming up upon the pastors, the first pastors. People, many first pastors are going to die if they don't repent. The wrath of God is coming upon them. They won't tell you what they are facing now. They cannot tell you what they are facing. They cannot tell you. All they will tell you, they will say, the temptation that I'm passing now, I know that God, uh, the Lord told me that I will pass through it. It's a lie. Jeremiah, Jeremiah 5, if you read, he said, what the Lord did not say, they said the Lord say. The Lord did not say, they will say the Lord say. The Lord say, the Lord say. Every day the Lord say. I am here to tell you, they went about and established their own righteousness. Have not submit, they have not submitted themselves to the righteousness of God. Because they know what the Bible says. They, they don't want to follow the Bible. This is the righteousness of God. Holiness and righteousness. Holiness. Be holy. Don't fornicate. Don't lie. Throw away those makeup. Those eyelashes. Don't draw tattoo on your body. Don't put on your hair. Leave your natural hair. Dress modestly. Look like a decent woman. If you are a married woman, look like a married woman. Let your heart be clean so that God can be visiting you and your children. When you pray, your prayer will be answered. You don't need things when you are serving God. You don't need a prophet to prophet to prophesy to you. If you are really right with God, you don't you don't need any prophecy from any pastor. Because the word of God you read every day is a prophecy. He has already dwelt inside you. Where devil cannot harm you. When Lucifer cannot tempt you. When you when night is come, you are sleeping, we wake you up. Or you are pray. Because it dwells in you. It will wake you up and so you are pray. When you are right with God. When you do something wrong, it will tell you, oh yeah, this thing you do is not right. Go and apologize. Or go on, or I need down, say sorry. You will begin to do it. But pastor confuse you or enemy in the church. You will see, pastor, this one is enemy to the when you go to pastor, you say, hey, person say no one talk to you. You will let him be now. Where is it written in the scripture that even Judah is carried that betrayed Jesus? Jesus taught to him in the last day. Did Jesus ate him? Wisdom is a principle. Because why? The lack of the knowledge of God. That is why they could not know this. 
They will tell you, don't talk to that brother. Don't talk to this sister. They will stand in the altar. They will condemn you, condemn you, condemn you. They will talk about, they will be preaching about themselves. They will preach, preach, preach how many cars they have. They will preach, preach for you not to leave this church. They are deceiving you. You will believe that it's the same God is doing for them. You don't know. They have already said their soul to the devil. Listen. Now, they went ahead about and established their own righteousness. Have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of God. They don't want to submit themselves to the righteousness of God. Because they don't want to leave that brother. They don't want to leave that brother. They want to continue sinning, fornicating, sleeping with that brother who is not your looking for husband. There are many pastors, let me tell you. They, they open church to have a wife. They need a wife. They just open church. When they all get that wife, you will see. They will change everything. At the beginning, they will be good though. They will be good. Before you know, they will change. Because they don't get what they don't want. What they find, go that place. They don't see her. If you like, you go. If you like, you go to her. They don't even care about your soul. Then verse 4. He said, For Christ is the end of law for righteousness. Even everyone that believeth. What is the meaning of that? Believe me. Everyone that obey. Everyone that obey. Everyone that obey. Every word that is here. Because the word is God himself. Then, listen, he said, For Moses described the righteousness which is of the Lord, that the man which doeth those things shall live by them. He said, But the righteousness which is of faith speaketh on this wise. Speaketh on this wise. He said, Listen, he said, Who shall ascend into heaven? That is to bring Christ down from heaven. Or who shall descend unto the deepest, that is to bring up Christ again from the dead? This is what they preach to you. This is what they preach. Those as they establish their own righteousness. This is the question they will be saying. You now you will be saying, Amen, Amen, yes, yeah, that is my pastor, my daddy, my father, my father. Only one person is your father, which is Jesus. You see, you are many of them have done to her. Pastor is just get establish his own righteousness and make you to follow your own righteousness and sending you to her. You forget the Bible righteousness, you forget the Bible way. He went ahead and preached where there is prosperity. And begin you begin to follow prosperity. You think you are serving God. I know because you don't know. That is why he said, I pray, brethren, my heart desire to pray because you don't know, you are ignorant. I am yet to open, the Lord is yet to open your eye now, that you should open your eye, run for that church. Tell, if you have married, tell your wife to throw away those makeup, those eyelashes, tell him to throw it away. And clean your room. And spring water on your room, that you cover this room in the name of Jesus Christ. Every Lucifer sin, every Lucifer juice in my room that my wife is wearing, by the power of the blood of Jesus Christ, that is shed on the cross of Calvary, I put them away, throw them away. And see the power of God in you. And follow the true righteousness. The true holiness that God died for. Follow and repent. And don't drink. Follow the way of God. And see how God will change your life. How you will be growing spiritually. How you will be rich in your spiritual life. Not in your physical but spiritual. You are poor. That you are, you are going to hell with. On that day there will be no more children. Mm -hmm. Your children will be on their own. You will be on your own. Praise the Lord. So, verse 8, I, I read, he said, But what said it? The word is near thee, even in the mouth and in the heart. That is the word of faith which we preach. You see, Christ is coming soon. Repair before it's too late. That is the word they preach. That is the word that the 12 apostle, the 11 apostle preach. Repent. The day is drawing near. The kingdom of heaven is at hand before it's too late. Before it's too late, that is the word we are preaching to you now. Repent now before it's too late for you. Repent, stay away from those makeup. If you are a man, stay away from all those. You, you are plating your hair. You are not a woman. You have a yerin, yeah? Yerin, yeah? Yerin. You are not a woman. Look at the way you look like Lucifer. If you are going out, you wear boss hat. You are going out. Are you not ashamed? What only your wife supposed to see? All the old people is not seeing it. Look at your wife. Where only you supposed to see? Are you not ashamed? Your wife is going out with you. He, he, he brown. Everything that come out. Men are looking it. 
and you pay for, you want you pay for that tail you pay for it and he's exposing it for the public to see look me oh now so my my so what my husband they enjoy now so he rich oh he's doomed to hell hair fire hair fire is waiting verse 9 he said that if thou shalt confess with the mouth, the Jesus Christ, the, the Lord Jesus, and shall believe in the heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. You hear? Believe in your heart, one. Then obey the word. That means you, you believe that Jesus died for you. That's why you they obey the word. Those are the meaning. You believe that Christ died for you. That is why you obey the word. That is why, because I believe that Christ died for me. That is why I give up everything and follow him. And started obeying his word. This is what he made. I throw away all the jewelries, all the all the humai, all the makeup, all the jeans that I used to wear. Because I believe that the Lord Jesus Christ died for me. That is why I throw those things away and follow him. This is what I believe. So are you ready also to believe the same thing? Not a uh, I believe, yes, there is God. No, you believe there is God, you look like a Lucifer, you look like a Jezebel. No. And a woman is coming to your house. To sleep with you. You are carrying costs. You are carrying costs. Look at pastor's children. Huh? You know they see pastor's children. The way they look. They are prepared they're like princess. They are here. And it, they are sending those children to her. They are sending those children to her. Maybe those children. God wants to use them. Because their father is Pharaoh. Pharaoh preacher. Because Pharaoh was a king. This one is a Pharaoh preacher. He's a pharaoh, but he's a preacher. He came to deceive, to destroy, to steal, to send people to hell. Preaching prosperity message and live what Jesus died for. That is why you have to open your eye. Verse, like verse 10 says, He said, For with the heart may believe unto righteousness, and with the mouth confess is made unto salvation. You see it. When you believe and started obeying it, you are you become righteousness now because you believe from your heart. Righteousness begin to come because you obey it. Because it's what your heart tell you that is what your body bring out, right? If your heart tell you this thing is right, your body will bring it out. People will see it. They will say, ah, it's good though. If it's really good, that is it. But with the with your mouth when you confess, you that is salvation. The day you confess Christ, that is your salvation started. Then practice the righteousness. Practice it now. Holiness. Practice it. Give up everything. Verse 11 says, For the scripture said, Whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. You see, I am not ashamed to look like this because this is the true Christian. This is how the true Christian is supposed to dress. I am still working on myself. Yes. I am still working on myself. But I know that I'm in the right track now. I know that I'm in the right binaro now. I know that I'm the right way now. Because it's what my heart tells me. That is what I bear now. That is what I bring out to you now. Because this is what my heart tells me. So I am I am in the right, right being narrow now. I am walking towards the I'm, I'm walking in that narrow way now. So many people will laugh at me. Look at the way you look like old woman. I was that is why I say. For the scripture said, whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. That is why I was not ashamed. Are you ready not to be ashamed? Then believe, obey the gospel. Dress like a modest, a modest woman. A, a modest woman. Like who really serving God. People see Christ in you. In your heart. Not, not because I had a preacher, may God change me, not a weirdo. No. Deeply from your heart, repent. Totally repent. As in genuine repentance. Don't say because I didn't say if you by God change your cloth now, that means you don't repent. No, if you never genuine repentance, if you go change the cloth, you see the follow follow man, you never repent. If you still wear a normal cloth, you know they expose your body, but you see the pack makeup put for your face, you never repent. If you see the lie, you never repent. If you see the gossip, you never if you see the bad bat your brother, heavy your sister, talking evil against them, you never talk about good good of them one day. Everything that they do, you know bad bad thing. Now you they talk about you need to repent because you never repent. If you still get serious anger, you don't have that heart of forgiveness. As I'm talking to you, I hear this voice. If anybody offends you, go and ask tell that person, I'm sorry, we know the quarrel again. That is where your problem will start. Because now you bring your problem by yourself. 
Verse 12, he said, for there is no difference between the Jews and the Greeks. For the same Lord over the same Lord over all is rich, which unto all that call upon him. This is where the priest shall come. Listen now. He said, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Okay. He now ask me, are you now? Whosoever that, that called upon the Lord will be saved. Is it both those who look like a Jezebel? Be saved me who will enter the kingdom of God on the last day. Now that will be the same way that they talk. Who go enter that kingdom on the last day? You know they talk about saying you not go die because nobody will not go die. Everybody will die. He's not talking about that. Save me. Who will be on the right hand of God on the last day? Who will be with God on the last day? This is the save they are talking about here. Yeah. Because everybody is going to die on this earth. He's not talking about like because if you believe God now you not go die again. No. He's talking about heaven. Who will go die heaven? Who will rejoice with Christ on the last day? This is what he's talking about. You shall be saved. You shall be saved. If you call the name of the Lord and you believe that name of the Lord, you shall be saved on the last day. You go go heaven on the last day. Then he now asks you a question. How then shall they call upon in whom they have not believed? Many people, you are, you, they call God every day. Do you believe God you are calling? Do you believe that God you are calling? If you believe God, that means you have to look like holy sister, holy brother, hate evil. He said the fear of the Lord is to depart from evil. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom to depart evil. Hate evil if you have the fear of God in you. Hate sin if you have the fear of God in you. Hate fornication if you have the fear of God in you. Hate makeup if you have the fear of God in you. Hate those jewelries if you have the fear of God in you. Hate uh, eyelashes if you have the fear of God in you. Hate human hair if you have the fear of God in you. Hate that uh, jeans you wear as a woman if you have the fear of God in you. Hate evidence if you have the fear of God in you. Hate idols. I do from your forefather if you have the fear of God in you. Hate those that speak evil against God if you have the fear of the Lord in you. Hate those who use the name of God to deceive people. Rebuke them in public if you have the fear of God in you. If you believe in God. He said, how then shall they call upon him whom, whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in whom of, of him of whom they have not heard? How can you believe what you never hear? What you never hear waiting God die for? How you go to believe now? Tell me, how can you obey it now? Now you are hearing. I am telling you now you are hearing. You don't already complete. Say you don't hear now. Say this one I believe. What did they talk about? If you believe God means obey God. Obey every word where it comes from this Bible. Be holy, righteousness. Not practice mere righteousness. Practice God righteousness. Have that knowledge of God. That is the only way the Spirit of God will come upon you. But if you don't acknowledge God, you go acknowledge man. That person it will go to hell. You acknowledge Lucifer dressing, but you don't acknowledge the, the, the righteousness, the way of God. You are doomed to hell. You will go to hell. Then he said, he read I read the he said. He said, in whom they have not heard. How can, she, how can, how and how shall they hear without a preacher? Now the genuine preacher is out there. They are preaching the repentance of the, the eternal message. You don't want that eternal message. You like prosperity. If now because they are the prayers, now say, you go get money, you go to hear yeah, amen. They go to the type amen. Amen. Hey, because now what they don't want to be that they don't care about their soul, they don't care about their spiritual life at all, they just need that money. That is why many of them send pastor to hell. Because now what they want that pastor they give them. They are here to please men, they are not here to please God. They were pleasing men. Pastor are pleasing um, rich men. What rich men tell the night that they do, but they are not here to please God, but they are here to don't forget in the spirit they are poor, they are going to hell. Then verse verse 15 said. And how shall they preach except they be sent? Many pastors, they don't send them. Ah, okay, now, pastors are preaching prosperity because they were not sent. Because he said, if they are sent, they will preach the real gospel. What Jesus died for, which is repentance. Repent. Now Jesus died for. 
Repent from your evil way. Repent from that makeup. Repent for looking like a Jezebel. Repent for dread, for, for sleeping with a sister who is not your wife. Repent. Sister don't born for you. You they wear the same clothes with them. The sister, you never marry her. You they wear the same clothes with them. People, they call you husband and wife. You don't know where mama come pande. You don't know where papa come pande. Repent from it now before it's too late for you. You are sleeping with that sister at the age of 15. You are sleeping with that sister. You say you want to marry that sister. You are sleeping with that sister. You are sleeping with that sister. You don't marry that sister. You are sleeping with her. Repent now before it's too late for you. Repent now before it's too late for you. Because what you are carrying is curse. What you are carrying is Lucifer that will take you to hell on the last day. If you don't repent. If you don't repent. You say you the go church. You read your Bible every day. All you do is to go around the corner and be drinking alcohol. You are doomed to hell. You will go to hell fire on the last day. The word that you are hearing now will judge you on the last day. Because I did not come and speak on my own. This word will judge you on the last day if you don't repent. Doing evil things, hating your brothers and sisters if you don't repent. This word will judge you on the last day. Your wife, you marry, your wife is still wearing jeans and you are hearing the truth. You don't want to tell your wife to stop wearing that thing. This world will judge you on the last day if you don't repent from it. It will judge you on the last day if you don't repent from it. Then he said, because it's only those who are sent, those are the people that can preach repentance. Who then, oh God, not sent. They're not the preach repentance. Now prosperity message that they preach. Prosperity, 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 prosperity. They don't even know who is God. Those are the people that follow a trinity. They follow a trinity. The God, the Father, the God, the Son, the God, the Holy Spirit. I don't know if God has a Father. I don't know. I don't know. They are the one baptizing in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. I don't know if Jesus now not turned to a trinity. We don't know. I don't know why they are using title to baptize people. Me don't know again. Because you don't have that knowledge of God, you are not passing the, the righteousness of God. That is why you could not know what is me. That go ye and baptize in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit has not been upon them because he was with them. Then when he go, he came upon them. They understand what Jesus me by baptized in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Which are two 38 now give you the clear word. That it means baptized in the name of Jesus because the son is a title. Those are title. You cannot use a title to baptize somebody because there is a lack of God knowledge. They deceive all the members in the full church. Now all the members baptized in the name of the Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit. Now for them to cover their, for them to expose devil now, for them to expose devil and rebaptize again in the name of Jesus. Devil, they say no. Devil say no, no put me to shame. Oh. You know, so now me they give you money since then. Now me they give you money. Meanwhile, they are deceiving you. Every good thing comes from the Lord. Bad thing does not come from, come from God. Every bad thing comes from Eve, a devil. Devil is telling you not to go and rebaptize again now. They are putting you because he wants to send you to hell. Because you have not baptized. You are, because you baptize with a title. That is how team philosophy pastor, how philosophy pastor, they go to school, they are speaking. See the way God they use this pastor. Because you blind. They are using baby English to deceive you. Right down, sir. That is our graduate pastor. Second Pharaoh, 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 you hid in your ear, you hid in your heart. You don't want to repent and, and submit yourself according to what he said. He said because they refuse to submit themselves to the righteousness of God. For you to submit yourself to the righteousness of God, you refuse. Because you know where you get your power from now. You know now. That is why you want, you define people who want to carry joint body. Verse 16. Okay, verse 15, I continue reading. He said, how, how shall they preach except they be sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring a glad tidings of good things. Okay, how many people they bring? Look all the members in the church, many churches, so some of the churches. Look, there are members. You see any good thing there? You see any good thing? Member will come out for a side church just now. He go use a wound, scatter your head. He not even say he go church. 
Na good, na good to be that. So for you to know, there are many that God did not send to preach. They started preaching because they know they just know Bible carnally. They don't know spiritually. They are just reading it carnally. Even some people, they have already bring their Bible and they print their Bible. They print it out. That is why you see Bible are confused. Be, be careful the Bible that you buy. Be careful the Bible you buy. Because they go remove some. What did Jesus talk for you? They go remove one. They go put their own. Because that thing is against them. They will not preach that for you. They will remove it and do and renew on bring another Bible come out again. And many people have that kind of Bible. Lucifer Bible. Repent now before it's too late. I continue reading. He said, but it's because who God sent will bring good tidings, good things, good. He will bring the children of God in a good way. Where I fellowship, I cry every day. Because why? The word that Jesus died for hit my heart. I cried that why was I deceived so many years that I could not know this. That is the word that changed me. Because it, the word was Jesus. That is the word that changed me. Because what they preach there is the true message of God. That is what changed me today. You look at me. The sense that they just holy sister now. The word changed me. I did not change myself. Jesus changed me. Because I accept him. Because I deny myself. I say I will carry the cross. If you like me, they laugh. Me, it's no man saying, no, go marry me. Any man saying, no, go marry me. You are your, if man said, you will not marry me. Amen. I am satisfied with my God. Let me marry to Jesus. Yes. Because he's already make me to understand his word that I, I, he is my husband. He is my husband. So I don't have to bother myself. If marriage will take me away from the Lord, let me remain single and serve God. Let me remain single and serve the Lord. If marriage, if boyfriend, if Lucifer dressing, if Jezebel dressing will take me away from God, that will make me not to be there on that day. Let me remain like this. Let me remain. Likewise you, if you are ready to repent, that means deny yourself because Jesus carried cross for you. He not go feel carrying a second time again. He don't feel carrying cross for you. He have died, carried the cross for the first time for you. Oh, you want him to come back again and carry the cross again? No. This time around, you have to carry it yourself. Because he has overcome the world now. That is why he said, I will dwell in you. You will be in me. So that the devil cannot deceive you. Whatever you are doing, he will be directing you to do it. Now, verse 16 says, but they have not all obeyed the gospel. Oh, even the preacher, when they preach, not they obey the gospel. Look at them now. Let your eye be open. Look most of the preacher. Did they look like a pastor? Did they look like a pastor to you? What did they look like? They are talking politician in the altar. They leave the, where the repentance message they're supposed to preach. They carry the one where they not send them. They, they forget the one. They turn a, a God house to, uh, to a club house. Even then, disobey. Listen, he said, but they have not all obeyed the gospel. Even the preachers, they don't obey the gospel. Because why? They establish their own righteousness. Their own philosophy righteousness. I pray may God open your eye today in Jesus' name. Then, he said, he said for as they have said, Lord, who had believed our report? Verse 17, he says, so then, so then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So your faith begin to come when you are hearing the word of God, the true word, what Jesus died for. He's not talking about prosperity message. If you are hearing prosperity message, you will have faith of prosperity. But if you are hearing the true gospel that Jesus died for, you will have faith of eternal life. Whom you have not seen yet. You will have the faith that you will see it. Then the faith is that you will start practicing what Jesus died for. When he say, be like this, you be like that. When you read it, be like this. You try to be like that. Praise the Lord. So, now, I am here to tell you again, my brothers and sisters, that this is the time you need to repent and give your life to Jesus. Let us quickly read uh, uh, Proverbs 8, verse 32. Proverbs 8, 32. Proverbs 8, 32. If you are there, 
Amen. Proverbs 8 32. Let's see what Proverbs 8 32 said. Okay, Proverbs 8 verse 32 said, He said, Now therefore, act unto me, O ye children, for blessed are they that keep my way. Now therefore, act unto me, O ye children. The Lord is telling you, Hack unto his word, O ye children. For blessed are they that keep his way. Blessed are they that keep God's way, not establish their own righteousness. Who keep God's righteousness? Blessed are they. Let blessed are they, my brothers and sisters. Are you ready to repent? If you are ready to repent, you begin to confess Christ. After this last verse, we are going to read: confess Jesus and be saved. Practice that practicing holiness and righteousness. You can call in if you want to call in. Let's go to Jeremiah. Jeremiah 5. He said, Hark unto my word. Unto me. Hark unto God now before it's too late for you. Before it's too late for you. Jeremiah 5. 5 verse 13. He said, And the prophet shall become wed, white. With and the word is not in them, thou shalt be, thou shalt it be done unto them. You see, those prophets, the word of God is not in them. My brothers and sisters, listen, the word of God is not in them. The word of God is not in them. They are there to deceive you. They are there to deceive you and send you to your early grave. They are there to send you to your early grave. The word of God is not in them. Read it very well. The word of God is not in them, my brothers and sisters. Repent now before it's too late. This is the message that I have for you today. Repent now. He said, repent. A, a, a man of a great rupt shall suffer punishment. If you on the last day you go suffer punishment, you will suffer punishment on the last day if you don't repent now. You that bear first weakness, you will be punished on that day. You go to bear first first weakness against your brothers and sister. On that last day, you will receive your punishment. The last verse, Revelation 1 33. The Revelation chapter 1 verse 3 says, Blessed is he that readeth and they that hear this word of this prophecy, and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. This is what I have for you. May God bless you as you join me today. May God Almighty open your ear to this word that you heard today in the name of Jesus Christ. And may the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you today and forevermore in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Father, for this hour. Begin to appreciate God for this word you hear this afternoon, this evening, wherever you are watching. Begin to thank God. Say, Lord, thank you for making me to know your word today. Thank you for opening my eyes because I know many people eyes just open today because they don't know that they are following, they are, they are, they are following the pastor that established their own righteousness. They think that they are following God. Meanwhile, they are lack of the knowledge of God. They are, they are far from the, the righteousness of God. They are following the, the, the righteousness of men. And I pray as you hear this word today, God will open your eye so that you will throw away those things that is none of God and accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and your personal Savior so that on that last day, you will be saved. This word, my brother, is not your own. This word is not your own. The rapture is about to take place. And I tell you, on that day, will you go? That is the question. Are you going to go with Wivon? Are you going to go with that fornication? No, because God is clean. In him, there is no darkness. He is a light. You are fornicating. You are in darkness. You are looking like a Jezebel. You are in darkness. Christ is not in you. You don't know him. And you need to know him so that you will be saved. That is why he saved us to also tell you what we see and the understanding of the word that he has given to us so that you also will be saved. You that is far from the knowledge of God. I pray, may God Almighty open your eye 
Anywhere the pastor has put you, writing all the members name and said you all will go to hell with him. And I pray today that God will lose you all in the name of Jesus Christ. You shall be loose in the name of Jesus Christ. Wherever he put you all, that you will remain in that church. You will not follow the true gospel. You will be following prosperity. And I put today by the power of Jesus Christ. May you be loose in the name of Jesus Christ. May you be loose in the name of Jesus Christ. May God take you out away from that prosperity message that will send you to your to hell in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hey, may God bless you all. Thank you, Jesus, for today. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. This word can heal you if you are sick. Believe in this word. You can be healed. This word can also deliver you. Believe in this word. You can also be delivered. This word also can bring you peace. Believe in this word. You can also have peace. This word can bring you joy. Believe in this word. You will have joy. Not prosperity message. It does not give you joy. Amen. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you. Don't forget, follow us. Tomorrow is Sunday. By God's grace, follow us on Temple TV. Type Temple TV on YouTube channel. Subscribe on it. Then continue following us. Fellowship with us. And the word of God will deliver you. The word of God will, you will repent through the word of God you will hear. In the your salvation, the Lord will locate you. Salvation will come your own. Immediately you receive the true gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Every day fellowship, you want to fellowship with us, all you need to do, inbox me. Write why you inbox me. Just write it there. They sent your number. We add you to the group. If you are ready, if you are a seed, because it said in, in the act, at 13 verse 43, he said that there are some people, Gentile, who are ordained to eternal life. That is why they believe, because they are already ordained to eternal life. And you ordained to eternal life that you may believe. If you ordain to eternal life, you have to believe the word that you are hearing from the from the word, the throne of God, the Bible. Amen. Amen. So also he said, He said, I know my sheep, my sheep hear my voice. Are you the sheep of God? Or oh, you are the you are the sheep of you are the goats. Let's see who you are. I pray may you be the sheep in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Shalom. May the peace of the Lord be with you all. Happy weekend once again. May God bless you all. Amen. Don't forget to share this video. Save that sister in the hospital with this word that is going to hear. Sharing this video may help a lot of people. May bring a lot of people to repentance. As I am preach, doing this evangelism on Facebook. Also you sharing, you are still doing evangelism. And as you do, may God bless you. Shalom. Amen.